Hi. So I, the question I was getting at was, you can't solve a problem when you're in it. But if you're in it and the people you're trying to solve the problem with are in it, how do you solve that problem? Often the problem has to get so big that you're distracted by the sheer bigness of it. Right. In other words, it reaches such proportion that your desire to feel good just becomes more dominant than anything else. And so in a sort of self survival mode, you find a better feeling place without demanding that the circumstance changes. Okay. That's the only way. Well, it isn't the only way, but in the premise that you set up, it is. Okay. What's another way and a different premise. Another way is uh, just gradually look for reasons to feel good, okay. make lists of positive aspects, find more things to appreciate because it doesn't take very much shifting of your vibration for manifestations around you to shift. So it, of course, the best thing to do is to, to be aware of how you feel, be very particular about how you feel and keep yourself in balance. But very often the very biggest of desires are born out of the most dramatic of the contrast. And so sometimes we think you just like the drama of it. Okay. Sometimes you, you want bigger strides. Right. Sometimes you want to make bigger impact. Sometimes you want to tell a bigger story. But usually you were just not paying attention to what you were doing with your vibration. And so it's just a matter of beginning to pay attention to what you're doing with your vibration and everything m must improve. Okay. It's easy for us because we stand in the vortex and we have the long view and we know that future generations are already being benefited by what you all are living. And we've seen the vortex predecessor, the vibrational predecessor to generations that are coming. And so we have the big picture and we know that things are getting better and better and better and better and better. It just, it, what it really takes it for someone to really get hold of deliberate creation, for someone to really be joyful in their day to day experience, these things are necessary. It is important that you understand that you are vibrational beings. It's important that you understand what your emotions are telling you. It's important that you understand that you are eternal beings. Mm -hmm. It's important that you understand that law of attraction is responding to your vibrational point of attraction. And it's important to understand that you have control over your personal point of attraction. And when you get those very basic things in place where at first you want to know it and then you sort of kind of know it and then you're really hoping to know, hoping for it. And then you're finally believing it to the point that you're knowing it. Once you know that you are the creator of your reality because you are the creator of your emotion, because you are the creator of your mood, because you are the director of your thoughts. Once you get that into place, then then you would never be wary or guarded about anything that might come because you know anything that comes is just the beginning of the journey when Jerry and Esther first began playing with us we encouraged them to they they were living in this city and it's a very big city have you noticed many miles from the east to the west many miles from the north to the south in other words it's a very very big city and they had friends who were aware of Abraham and the weirdness that Jerry and Esther were involved in. <laughs> and they played a game where they would just go get lost. They would say, go lose yourself somewhere in the city and we will come and find you. And what fun it was in the finding. Sometimes it was confounding because uh, as Jerry and Esther would try to find them, they kept moving. But what we're getting at is the joy is always in the journey right. and and when you get that then it just does not matter very much at all where you're currently standing and if you can get your eyes up off the floorboards and out to the highway ahead of you you can have a good time okay Did we get there for you yes I have one more question so the last time I was here I, the last time you were here I think in April I was fortunate enough to sit in the seat and I had oh well, my wife and I we had a, a baby girl that was coming and you gave us some amazing, wonderful advice that we constantly revisited and focused on. And so now she's here and she's three months old and she's beautiful, the biggest blessing in the world. And I just wanted to know if I could get some other advice. 
to continue on with this because there's a million books out there and the six minutes that you spoke to me is by far the best advice I've ever received we have a handful of things that we would encourage and let us give you a little basis of of it it'll make it will make it easier for you to accept it okay and it really fits in with what we were talking about before segment of refreshment with you if you will remember that even before this baby came into this physical experience that you were putting things into your vortex about her uh -huh. and even before she came into this body doing the same thing so there are intentions that are there that are certain and sure and wonderful so if you remind yourself that this vortex is valid and real and that and that she's smarter than you she is because she seriously is. because she was because she was born from all of that right and has none of all this other stuff to overcome right. like the conversation that we've just been having definitely with so with that basis laid we would encourage you to do these things and as you pull them off we will anoint you as most successful parent of this world <laughs> follow her lead which means trust like she trusts and expect good things like she expects good things and know her well-being like she knows her well-being and just applaud every step along the way and every stage along the way at her wisdom and her knowledge and she can be one who will never find deviation from the source within her she can be one that you ask about well then what's the other choice what's the alternative what's the alternative to it being so bad that you have to find a good feeling place just to survive what's the alternative it being so good always so good knowing your power knowing your clarity she can be one who sifts through contrast and takes it for what it is because her parents know what it is it's the contrast that is there for you to make choices it's not there to defeat you it's not there to challenge you it's not there to wear you down it's not there to make you stronger it's there for you to see it's for you to revel in it's for you to make peace with it's for you to make choices so what are the choices that you're making and allow her to make the choices and follow her lead in other words when she makes a choice back her up in it whether you think it was a right choice or a wrong choice back her up in it with the knowledge that in her ability to make choices and then experience the consequence of the choice her true knowledge will come you say okay thank you yes indeed